Okay, uh, in this in this uh, video, I'm just going to show you how to uh, set up your power options. You probably already know how to do this, but you might not have them set because you don't think that they're, they're that important. But computers and monitors and things like that take up an extremely large amount of power, like a lot of power. And you really should have your power options set. So if you go right click the desktop and go to uh, and go to properties, then screensaver, then uh, power. Uh, then you should have a uh, some little boxes like this. Uh, if you go to hibernate and check this box, you want to enable hibernation. Hibernation is basically just uh, basically what your PC is doing is it'll save everything that's open on your PC right now to your hard drive and then turn off. So it's not using it's using up like barely any power at all. I think it's using up a tiny tiny bit because it leaves something running so that. It, you don't get this as much of a spike when you start it up again, so it's not super bad for your computer. Anyway, uh, that's a that's like basically just. And then when you turn on your PC, everything like if I if I enabled hibernation right now and it and it turned off, then I would start up and this would everything would still be uh, open on my screen, like everything would be perfectly fine still. So anyway, you want that you want that uh, you want that set to hibernate, and then. Uh, you should probably have your monitor set to turn off, because your monitor also just guzzles power. And then, uh, turning off your hard disks, and you can set all the times here. You can really set it to whatever you want. Don't set it to, like, five hours. I mean, come on. You don't need to leave it, leave it idle for... I have mine set to ten minutes, because I just, I just don't have a screensaver at all. Because it's not really necessary if my monitor is off. All that screensavers are for is that you don't, uh, burn into your monitor. Anyway, uh, then I have hard drive disk set to turn off, and then, uh, system standby is just, uh, your PC goes into a low power state and will, uh, use up a lot less power than hibernation. It'll, just, after 25 minutes, it'll just automatically, uh, turn off and save everything to the hard drive, essentially eliminating all the power it's using. Anyway, another really quick trick I'm going to show you is that if you don't want to wait that 25 minutes, because, uh, 25 minutes is the uh, minimum amount of time you can possibly set it to take for the uh, for the thing to start hibernating just off a time limit. Anyway, but you can also go in and go into turn off computer and notice how there's a. S you can also go to turn off computer, and then uh, I can't click it because then it takes away my camera. As you just noticed, I don't I don't even know for what it recorded when I did that. But uh, if you notice, after you click on turn off computer, there's a standby option, a restart option, a shutdown option. Right after you open that, press shift and H at the same time, and your computer will just go and hibernate right then, right when you click that. So you don't even need to shut off your computer anymore. You can just make it hibernate whenever you want. So it's pretty nice. I don't know why. I don't know why I never knew how to do that, and not very many people do. But, uh, anyway, if you want your PC just to hibernate, which is pretty much better than turning it off, I mean, there's really no reason why you wouldn't want it to, uh, just, just click, uh, Shift H while you're in that little menu on the turn off thing, and it'll hibernate. And you should probably set up your other, because this saves a lot of power over a really long period of time.